Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing the Talos Principle, and it seems that it has reset all my settings for whatever reason. Uh, field of view, please go back up to 90. I like it there. Back. And sound, let's- let's turn this down a bit more, because I noticed, listening back, that it was a bit loud, so let's turn the sound down some. Here we go, that's much better. So, after watching back the previous episodes, I took some notes about some stuff. I noticed that I missed a QR code at the beginning of the game, and I want to do something with this paint, because last episode, I believe, Eloheim said that I need to help more than just myself, or something to that effect. So maybe by leaving a helpful message for another player, that will accomplish the goal. Can I leave with this? No, it seems that I cannot leave with it. And it always respawns here. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's still like that. I think last episode, we went over there to that terminal, and read everything there, and then I stopped the episode, and I haven't played this game for quite a few days. It has been quite a while. Can we take this... We can. Something about a star. Hmm. Ooh. It's right there. Can I... Is there any of these... Oh, I can. Wait, why are... Were they always alternating colors like that, or is that... I just not noticed it last time or something? Okay. Have you tried crossing the laser beams? Uh, you'll be needing a special device to solve this one. Certification program is a sham. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know, let's just- this is the old, This is, you know, pretty much true, because I did go out to the edge of the world that one time. And it did seem to go on forever, but I wasn't allowed to go. Achievement unlocked, leave your mark. Interesting. So I don't have the paint bucket anymore. Alright, let's get started with the puzzle. We've got this guy bouncing back and forth to interrupt our lasers, I suppose. Hmm... Where exactly... Ah, oh, we just want to unlock this. Oh yeah, I- in one of, uh, remember the episode with, uh, the star behind the fence like this and we didn't know where the, the blue laser emitter was? I'm thinking there might be a way to get a laser over the wall from another puzzle, but I'm not so sure how to go about doing that. Okay, first things first, let's just take the obvious approach. This is... I can't put it past here at all. So... Huh. Interesting. What about... over here? I think if we just move it, it should work, right? Okay, that worked. I hear a beeping terminal. I thought we already got the one over there, though. Alright, well, we could always come back to this. This is annoying me. There we go. 
Now, let's see, yeah, last episode we jumped over here, and... I could have sworn we read this terminal, did we not? Oh wait, it's- it's got... it's got this guy. Hello again, I've been checking your responses against library archives, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what is to you the most important difference between a pebble and a tree? These are interesting responses. The tree is heavier? The pebble is older. No, I think there are some pebbles that are newer than some trees. I think there might be some trees that are just like, you know, baby little baby trees. I think a tree is alive is the most important, most important thing. Good. Now, what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is delicious. <laughs> no! Okay, I do need to say, it's not a good idea to order frog legs at restaurants because a lot of frogs that are, are farmed for their frog legs are an invasive species and they're, they're killing the, the naturally inhabited frogs. So yeah, go to savedefrogs.org or whatever and look that up. Frog is conscious. Is a frog conscious? A, tr a frog is green. Well, a tree is green too, but... Well... See, that's the question. Is a frog conscious? I'm not really sure I would agree. And some trees might be delicious, it's a matter of preference. I don't know, I'll pick- I'll pick conscious, because none of the other ones are anywhere near as good. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? Self-aware. Most- most- most definitions include self-aware. Feelings, um... I think animals have feelings, right? Rational... Well, see, el they think elephants can be self-aware too, because when they had an elephant look in a mirror, it eventually figured out that it was looking at itself. Frogs are people too. I don't know, I'll go with self-aware. I feel like I'm being funneled. Though I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear, it's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. One, a person must be rational or self-aware. Two, a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are, in fact, those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? I think it doesn't matter what I answer. I mean, I mean, I mean, well, it does matter what I answer, very much so, but... In terms of which one I want to answer, I don't really have a preference here, because, you know, I'm not in a game, I can't feel what whatever the character we're playing as feels, so I don't know if we can rationalize these things. And also when it says, can you rationalize your existence? I don't think anybody can rationalize their existence, that's not something you can rationalize. That doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. I'm just gonna answer yes. I tend to agree with you. Though your responses so far have been a little eccentric, I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness, in your opinion? Consciousness is what separates us from animals. No. Consciousness is the feeling and, and senses. No. Consciousness is what it is like to be me. Maybe. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. Yes. 
That hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Neurons, the soul, beyond the laws of physics, complex functional system. Well, I mean, a car is made of atoms, but that doesn't explain how it works. And a car is a complex functional system, but that doesn't make it any different. <laughs> um... It's not another word for the soul, and it's not beyond the laws of physics. Animals, I mean... Lots of... there's... I feel like I'm being intentionally giving bad answers to choose from. Because none of these are answers that I would actually say in this situation. None of these are good answers. I'm just gonna pick this one. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Terminating support session. Interesting. I am not happy with that at all. That... that makes me very... feel very constrained, and I don't like that. Oh yeah, I think last episode I ended it by just jumping out and looking out here. There's nothing there. I can walk in this water, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, what do we want to do next? We've done that, how about we go over here? Oh, there's a, uh... Couple of those guys. I made a box float. Seriously, it was awesome. <laughs> their, their username is just 8. The certification program is a sham. What does a computer know about humanity? Cherapy? Hey, wait a minute, that's somebody on my friends list! And that's one of the- that's one of the- the pre-made responses, too. I don't have an 8 on my friends list, but... This is somebody on my friends list, and I think that they left a message here. And the game... like, transferred it over. That's cool! I know Cherapy, he's on my friends list. How many times am I gonna say that over and over again? Before it hammers itself in. Oh wait, there's another one over here. There are hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often. Interesting. Now I think Vertigo has played this game too, but... And he's also on my friends list, but I don't know if he left a message somewhere. I mean, because I- it seems like I could just leave it anywhere, because I left it- I left mine in there, so maybe we just haven't seen it yet. But it's cool that I found Cherapies. That's neat. Okay, window through a door. I must say, I do enjoy the music in this game. Alright, where do we want to take this? Okay, so... I think we could just block that- that guy who's moving back and forth. I think we could just use the one that we have right now to block him. Should be pretty simple, right? Yeah, okay. Oops, come on, let me pick it up. Thank you. Any messages? Doesn't look like it. Let's see, take that, take that, do that. Oh, right, no, but this one's actually in there. Right. It's got a window, too. Interesting. Is there a thing on the other side? Nope, just a message. Hmm. 
Interesting. I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly, it's such a thankless task compared to what else is out there. By at. Interesting. That can be reached, right? Yeah. So the, uh, the bars are in the way. either of those. They are... stuck where they are. And now... should be able to just do that. Haha, <laughs> that one's longer so that you can't... can't do it with the bot going back and forth. <laughs> okay, that was it. Any messages? Oh, that's... the pieces up here, that's interesting. Whoa, I saw that tree glitch this time. That's the first time I've actually seen the thing glitch before. Just sand as far as the eye can see. I hear, like, flies buzzing. Interesting. Well, two puzzles this episode so far, but we still got a little bit of time left. So... What is that? Oh, that's a bush! <laughs> Does the paint bucket return here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we already read this message. Yep. So we've been there. I think now we just need to go over here. Good. Did not trap ourselves. Excellent. And we get to keep both boxes. I wonder if that's important at all. Doesn't seem like it. Huh. Okay. Well. I guess that's it for this episode, so as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye! <laughs>